Hi, this is Dave from Mega Points Controllers. You're looking at the brand new System 2 4 port solenoid driver. This completes our driver range for the System 2 products. The board features uh, plug and socket connections so you don't have to unscrew cables to disconnect the board. Everything on the board connects via these green sockets here and power and network here. So if I need to remove the board for any purpose, I don't have to worry about unscrewing wires. Here I have four solenoids and I'll just connect them to the device by connecting this plug. Key features of the solenoid drive are that it has a built-in capacitive discharge unit. It features intelligent firing so that if the capacitor has discharged, it won't attempt to fire another solenoid until it's monitored that this is fully charged and ready to go. So there'll be no misfiring with this CDU. It's a huge reservoir capacitor, so it does actually have the ability to fire two solenoids if they're wired to the same output, as long as, of course, you don't have any binding involved. It also features a System 2 feedback reporting, so the position of each solenoid as it's fired is reported back to a panel controller or what other device is monitoring it. And it's all powered from a 12 volt bus, so it's 12 volts DC input, and then it will generate the voltage it needs through the circuitry on the board. I'll connect this power and network cable and you'll see the indicator lights come on. So there's three lights at the bottom of the board here. The first run light, which is shown in uh, yellow, if it's flashing at this speed, which is about once a second, it means it's in normal run mode, everything's good to go. If it's flashing fast, it's in hotspot mode and you can configure its uh, network settings. The green power LED shows that we have 12 volts power, so it's telling me the power's good here. And the red charge light tells me that the capacitor is charged, so it's ready to go, it's armed, ready to fire points. So I've attached some buttons to a panel controller and if I press a button you'll see the solenoids fire. One, two, three, four. If I try to press two at the same time, I'll bring it on camera here, press them at the same time, see how the second one went about a third of a second later and this is because the capacitor is charging and it won't fire until it's full. You can see the red light go out when I fire the point and as quickly as that it's ready to go again. If we take a look at the um, user interface for the solenoid driver, you can see there are four motor outputs and they can be attached to whatever V-port you want. We have the feedback V-ports here, so each can report its own status. And then we have the ability to reverse the output as well. And it's showing me here the charge voltage, which is usually around 20 volts. There it goes up to 20, and that's showing the live state of this charge and it will keep that topped up continuously whilst it's powered. I've now attached a single button to a panel controller and it's on V port one. And as you can see, V port one on the screen is connected to motor number one, the top one. So if I press it, you'll see the motor fire. If I want to fire a pair, I can attach them to the same output, or if I attach them to different outputs, I'll get the full charge into each, but it will intelligently fire one at a time. In fact, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attach all four motors to the same V port as though it's a double crossover. So I'll put V port one there, one there, and one there. Now when I press this button, all four motors will fire, but they'll fire after a short gap once this has recharged. Here we go. There's all four gone. If I press it again, they'll go back. And you can see from the charge light here, it's firing when it's fully charged. So you're guaranteed no, uh, no misfires or anything. The unit is intelligent enough to allow you to cope with this. The board supports the usual uh, Wi-Fi configuration screen, which you've been looking at. It also features Wi-Fi operation instead of the CAN bus, which is an option if you choose to use it for all System 2 boards, and allows connection in a native mode and also connection to JMRI. People who purchased this board before it was announced 
will notice there's now a software update available. And if you download that, you'll get the full JMRI functionality of the product. So before the CDU circuit, we have a, a charge pump. It's a technical term. And what it means is we take 12 volts that's coming in and we raise that voltage from 12 up to around 20 volts so that it, we're feeding 20 volts in here, which gives you extra oomph when firing your solenoid point motor. If you look on the configuration screen for the solenoid driver, you'll see the voltage displayed here. It's telling us 19.5 and it's monitored in real time and it's constantly topping it up to make sure that it's got plenty of power when you need it. The unit also features a command queue and it can take and store up to 32 commands. So if it's receiving commands, it will go store them all and execute them only when this is fully charged. When the red light's on, it's telling us the reservoir capacitor is fully charged. So if you ever wanted to move the unit or disconnect something, we advise you to take the power away and then allow this light to go out. So I've taken the power off and that's going to take about 25 seconds to extinguish. Once that's gone out, you're safe to uh, move the unit as the circuit is now discharging that power to a safe level. And once the light's gone out, you can now handle the unit as normal and uh, attach cables, disconnect them, move it or whatever without risk of the capacitor discharging into uh, any one or thing.